What's up guys, Gnarly Charlie, uh, no music today, just kind of making this as I go. Um, figured I'd show off some recent mail order updates and kind of explain why in the hell I haven't been here on YouTube for a while. Uh, my phone fucked up, and that's the way I make my videos. Uh, the battery of it wouldn't hold a charge, and instead of, you know, charging it 200% to make a 5 minute video, uh, it seemed, it didn't seem like it was worth it to do that, so I just kind of took a break from it until I got a new phone and got it fixed and got everything back to par and before I decided to do anything. But, uh, hopefully I can start getting back into videos and hopefully this little hiatus thing that I've done for two weeks has not totally gotten me off a, uh, I don't know, a work ethic, I guess who want to do this three times a week like I have been wanting to do. So hopefully there will be more videos. Hopefully Friday I can finally get around to doing that, uh, the uh, Alistair uh, review, what I've been wanting to do. So, you know, who knows? There's, there's a lot of new albums that I've gotten so far. So, uh, you know, like I said, it might come out to be something cool and it might not. So, I don't know. Anyway, we got Black Metal Werewolf's brand new patch. Really cool. I'm really digging the artwork on that. Uh, kind of got a moon and then a, uh, well, sorry, crescent moon and then a full moon. I didn't really know. That was kind of like a face from where I was at, but really cool artwork. Can't wait to put that on a Black Metal patch. I've been working on a uh, Black Metal vest, so... Strictly black metal, so that might end up going on it. Next, <laughs> if you've never used Bandcamp, it's pretty awesome. I just randomly typed in power metal one one day and saw this really cool artwork of kind of. I think it was like a hand reaching for an hourglass. Never heard of the band before, but I checked them out. They're really good. And then I realized. After 1985, they didn't do anything anymore, and now they're amazingly back with a demo. But uh, anyway, this is Glacier, and it's got Ready for Battle, Devil in Disguise, and Speak No Evil. This is amazing. <laughs> I wish they'd had the EP that I saw, like with the with the hand in the hourglass, but I ended up getting that T-shirt anyway. And uh, I got the original demo from 1984, I believe. But uh, anyway, if you get a chance, check these guys out. I don't know how many copies of this are left, but uh, it's really good. I've spun this like five or six times already, and it's fucking amazing, and I just love it. So if you're into power metal, take it for a spin, man, because it's great. Uh, next, I only knew the one band on here, and... Uh, I don't know, if I really like a band, I like to try and get everything they've got, as you can know from Acid Witch and a little bit of Nunslaughter. But, um, Werewolf. Werewolf is this really cool black metal band, and uh, I believe they're signed to House Headbangers, I'm not 100% sure, but this is uh, where I got it from. And, uh, the other band was Dradan Forest. Drudian Forest, maybe? I don't know. I probably butchered that all to hell, but it's a split they just recently did. Looks really good. Can't wait to listen to this. I don't know why I haven't yet, but oh well. Next, uh, for any of you Count, Count Blagger fans like I am, uh, I've also came across uh, the new Utsat. It's been out for a while, but I've just been so lazy to picking it up that I'm finally just now getting it. But, uh, I don't really know if this is some kind of promotional card, but, uh, I got that with it, and I also got his new band, Temple Sleeper, which is a really cool sounding deathcore band. But uh, definitely check them out because they're really good. I've, I've, I think he's got a few live shows, and they're talking about doing an EP soon. So, you know, might be worth checking out if you're into that. 
Also, the last item I've got, which I'm really super excited about, is my new Walkman. Right? It seems weird that, I, you know, you get a Walkman now, but, uh, it's funny, it's actually funny, I actually tricked my mom and walked around with a Motley Crue cassette tape. And I was like, hey mom, you wanna hear my new Motley Crue, uh, cassette album, or, uh, my new Motley Crue album on the, uh, Walkman? And she's like, what year is this? So, uh, it was kind of funny, but, yeah. That was a stupid joke, but, anyway... That's what I've got. Like I said, hopefully I can get more videos in uh, this week and get back on schedule, but who knows. I'd like to do a review Friday and start getting back to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday routine, but like I said, it's up in the air right now. So until next time, keep it gnarly.